This is the definitive guide of should you put a matte or glossy screen protector on your new etched glass steam deck. In order to test things, what we're going to do is we're actually going to install it on half the screen and compare the original etched glass to this double etched glass system. First step is get a thorough clean on the steam deck. I'm using the apple cloth here and I didn't notice any marks, so it's safe to use. And with the screen protector installed on half, let's compare the default etched glass to this double etched system and see if we have any degradation or any noticeable issues. First off, the blooming is way, way worse. Lights are taking up a lot more space on the screen. It's spreading it out quite a bit more. This line on the bottom is just the screen protector bending, but at the top we have a perfect lay. And that's where we're doing our testing. So here's a full black screen. And you can see on the default etch glass, it's a nice dark black. With the double etch, not only is the screen more gray, even our bezel is noticeably more gray. You can see that here. Um, there is a little bit more blooming as well. So text and white elements on black backgrounds do have a little bit more bloom compared to the default etched glass. We're going to look at some of the colors. We're going to notice how the double etch degradation continues. So on the right we have our default etched glass. On the left you can see we're not getting that grid pattern that we're looking for. We're getting a lot of noise. Anytime you see the grid it means that the pixels are not being degraded and you're getting a full representation. But you can see here on the left, we have a lot of noise introduced and that grid is missing. To be as thorough as possible, we put a glossy screen protector on the right against our double edge system on the left. The clear screen protector is actually darker black and higher contrast than even the Steam Deck's original display. Jumping back to gameplay, you can see we have our beautiful grid pattern that we're looking for, which means that the screen protector is not impacting the output of the screen. Taking another look at the bloom, you can see our glossy screen protector works as expected. It glosses the screen. And compared to the double edge system, it's much easier to see as the double edge bloom is washing out almost 20 or 30% of the screen at once. In gameplay, you can see we have the gloss on the right, the double etched on the left. We have our nice grid pattern showing up on the right. On the left, you're seeing a little bit of the noise, again, the camera may or may not pick it up, but it looks almost like a screen door. Anyone who's used VR knows what I'm talking about, where you're kind of looking past some fixed degradation. Color-wise, between the protectors, there isn't that much difference head-on. Most of it comes down to the glare that's on the screen. Um, you can see the black level is a little bit darker on the glossy screen versus the double etch, but the colors seem similar to me. Text is a noticeable difference. This is pulled from the browser and you can see really on the white, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of new colors being introduced. It's not a clean presentation. Depending on your tolerance for this type of thing, it can be very distracting. Both these screen protectors are from JSOC. This isn't a sponsored video, but I did want to stick to one manufacturer for the comparison. And for me, I ended up going with a glossy screen protector. The degradation was just a little bit too much with a double edge system. And after doing the head to head, I'd recommend if you're looking for a screen protector, go for the glossy. This JSOC one was pretty good because it is edge to edge coverage. Otherwise, I'd recommend just running it naked. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.